What's going on guys? Today's video we're gonna be playing with Alpha OBD. So if you guys watched one of my previous videos and of the making of this video was my last video, we installed a premium cluster and we replaced this basic cluster on this Ram 1500 pickup truck, but we were having problems trying to store our engine hours. So we were having issues with that and we were using the app with the OBD Link MX Plus. Um, so that's a Bluetooth connection. I also have Alpha OBD installed on my PC so we tried it with the Android tablet I also tried it with the PC version and I didn't have any luck but I saw somebody comment that they went ahead and used the USB version with their PC and then they all of a sudden had success so a lot of guys were mentioning you know leaving it for a little while letting it sleep it's now the next day I tried it a million times yesterday every which way letting it sleep you know waking it up to all that stuff and it nothing would work as far as storing engine hours so I had this cable before on my PC, but when I went ahead and I got, uh, I went ahead and upgraded actually to the USB version so that I could use it with the tablet or the PC. But I would be really interested to know if this is gonna solve our issues. So it's a USB version of this. We're gonna plug it into our PC, try it and see if all of a sudden we can make our adjustments to our engine hours on our new cluster. All right, so here we are in the vehicle. You can see idle zero hours drive zero hours i reset those yesterday out of frustration trying to get it to write our hours i just cleared it out and reset them to zero but now you can see we've got the usb cable connected to our pc so i'm going to go ahead and connect using the pc version here and we're going to connect to the instrument cluster 2013 plus let's see what happens all right so we're now connected through the usb cable so i'm going to go over here we're going to do the same steps as the app. We're going to go over here, Active Diagnostics. We're going to run down here to Program Customer Features. Then we're going to go down here, and we're going to say Lifetime Idle Hours, and 299. And we're going to hit Start. Let's see what happens. The option is currently set to 43. All right, let's see what happens. procedure completed so it's doing the same thing you guys as it was before so it's obviously not set to 43 it's set to zero so it's reading as 43 this is the exact same thing it was doing with our Android version and the Bluetooth all right guys so I just want to test that for you guys just to rule out any theories I saw that comment posted in the last video I picked this up doesn't make any difference, so I'll end up sending this back, uh, returning it since it uh, doesn't work either. So as you can see here, this was what we tried yesterday, our tablet with the OBD Link MX Plus. We tried it connected to that, tried it connected to the PC, tried it with the USB cable, still no such luck. What I might actually do though is, uh, just side note on this whole thing, I'm probably gonna upgrade the body control module uh, for a few different reasons. One, because it'll give us some newer features um, that the 2014 body control module doesn't have. Plus, there might be some stuff going on with having the older body control module. So I want to upgrade it anyways, and then uh, we'll try it again. I will just try it randomly, sporadically, and if it does happen to work on one given day, I'll let you guys know, but wanted to rule that factor out for you guys. Hopefully you guys found some formative, super short video for this one, so give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this updated content. And hopefully this helps a bunch of people so that you're not going crazy trying to figure this out either, because like I said, I saw this suggested, I figured I'd give it a whirl, it doesn't work, so now it's documented. So thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out the other videos on the channel, we'll catch you guys on the next one.